Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back to some Tooth Core. Uh, so I'm going to start out here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings. Uh, I'm going to go down here to this, this button that's plainly hidden in, in normal view here. Uh, and we're going to basically completely restart the game. And we're going to space to continue. And we get basically the, uh, this, these, I don't think these actually do anything. Uh, because the, uh, I, I don't know what this does either. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get the better one this time. You are ready. Your one sole objective, get to the core. All right. So, uh, I kind of wanted to start out here in the beginning, uh, start out a new game. Uh, and we're, we're going to basically just kind of show how the game starts. Uh, so you start off here, like I can't move up and down. I can move left and right a little bit. And I'm literally just trying to go through as, as quickly as I can to get to the core. Obviously, we're going to die here in the first one. Uh, we're going to go to the shop here real quick. This is uh, the way the map or the store starts out. There's very little to be able to, uh, to do here. Uh, we can get some more fuel, and we can get some more uh, ore extraction. So uh, basically, we're going to buy some some drop boost there. Back to the solar system. The uh, the amount of of uh, resources we get in the beginning here. It, the whole point of this game is it it's an incremental game, uh, and you're trying to to basically build big numbers up, right? Uh, and the way you do that is you you move your mouse around, you uh, and basically the your ship is going to kind of follow uh, uh, what your uh, the ship follows your cursor, uh, and then as it follows your cursor, the uh, you, you're just trying to to break the blocks and get down to the bottom. So in the very beginning, it's very very tedious. Uh, we will eventually start opening things that make make the uh, tedium a little bit less so. Uh, and you're trying to get down here and trying to get some of the other stuff. Uh, so we'll get some more fuel. Get some more of that. Right? Back to the solar system. And here in the very beginning, it, it's literally just <laughs> smash your face against the wall. Uh, buy upgrades, repeat. Like it's it's not it's not difficult. Uh, and like I I can't make it go down faster. My shift key doesn't work. All the upgrades that I will eventually get that will allow me to to do this stuff a lot better and faster. Uh, I don't have those yet. Uh, so uh, the kind of the goal here is I wanted to start a new a new game a new uh new um. Uh, playthrough uh because the the first time i didn't have uh i kind of started in the middle uh i didn't i didn't show how the game kind of works in the beginning here uh and we didn't have a lot of the stuff open to be able to do uh the things that you know kind of show how the game is played and, and what you can do with it so uh, i'm going to try to start a series off and kind of kind of work my way through it uh as opposed to just uh starting in the middle and you know bum rushing the end um So it's a lot of fast uh, here in the beginning. It's just trying to uh, get enough resources to get a couple of upgrades, get some more fuel, get some more, uh, you know, resources. And trying, we're trying to get down to the silicon because uh, silicon is our next upgrades. So the way you do that is by fuel and uh, uh, damage, or not damage, uh, armor. Uh, but I think we have to have silicon in order to even get the armor. So, yep. And then I'll just restart. You can just hit R to restart too. So, like, if you're like, okay, I'm 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 about done be done with this one, and you just want to get more stuff, uh, we'll slowly slowly work our way through. Unfortunately, every time we hit something, we kind of get bounced back. Eventually, we'll get a uh, some items that cause that to be. Less of a bounce back. Um, oh, look at that. We got a little bit of silicon. All right, we'll go back to the shop here. So here we have some armor. 
So we need silicon for armor. Spend all of our silicon into that. Do both of these guys a little bit. And the next thing we're, we want to start getting is our siphon. So we need 1,000 for the siphon. So let's go ahead. Let's go to our resources. I'm going to sell basically everything that I all my resources. Uh, that will give me drill damage. That will be helpful. All right. So back to the solar system. Now the next one, we're probably I'm gonna probably just spend some money and get the siphon. Uh, so the siphon basically what it does is when you break blocks, it starts giving you money. Uh, and the earlier you get that, uh, kind of the the better off you are. Uh, because the uh, trying to get the money for for upgrades, especially for siphon and a couple of other things, uh, if you're constantly having to sell your resources off to try to get those, it doesn't doesn't really help uh, because you need your resources for other things. And if you can get resources and siphon at the same time, or siphon a little bit of money off, uh, then that's obviously a lot better. But we will do that. We'll go back to the shop. I'm going to sell all my resources and I'm going to buy that and then buy some more of these. Then back to the solar system, back to the only planet we can go to right now. So eventually we will open, we'll be able to get to the sun. We'll be able to get to, you know, a bunch of different planets. Uh, but some of that stuff is very expensive and you need lots and lots of money. But now you'll see my, my money starting to go up. And then I'll be able to start keeping my uh, my resources, which is which is helpful. So we'll just keep keep digging towards the center. Eventually, we'll get down to the aluminum and start getting more and more stuff. Get some more silicon. Go ahead, buy some more of those. Buy some more of these. Silicon there, buy some fuel, and part of it is is literally just everything that we can, just upgrade whatever you can. Uh, so, because most of most of your upgrades uh, will help you. Uh, there's you know depending on your play style and depending on how you want to do it. Like the grenades are kind of cool, uh, but for me anyway, they're they're a little bit difficult to use. Uh, because you're having to hit the space and then trying to stay up high and and drop the grenades and uh it's a little bit of you know i like the, the missile better but ultimately like even the missiles and stuff like that like you're not even really going to be using them that much uh because ultimately you're going to move to drones and uh laser beams from space great glorious Keep trying, digging away at it. So, uh, if you're trying to figure out if this game is decent, uh, I have a couple of other videos on it that they, you know, I, I I love this game. I've got I'm pushing probably 30 hours in it, uh, and for as simple as a as a game as it is, uh, it is uh, it is definitely going well. Uh, I'm I'm really really happy with it, uh, and I'm gonna continue to just kind of keep banging my, my head against the wall and uh, just, just generally having fun with this game. Uh, so I am having some issues. My, uh, it, I've been, I was trying to edit one of these videos. I've tried to record this a couple of times. Um, and I think uh, compression and the video size are just difficult. Uh, and my video editing software does not like this game. Uh, so, uh, I, I'll just, I don't know if I'm going to try again today, uh, and try to edit some more, but the, uh, the last, the last videos I had, uh, I wasn't happy with more armor, more fuel, more fuel, more drill damage. And it's just literally, it's it's set here, do this a couple of times, get some more items. Uh, and ultimately, the, the goal is to get to the core. Um, I do not know if I'm going to be able to get to the core uh, in this video. Uh, I'll, I'll try it. 
Uh, but but we will we will see. It just it takes it takes some time. Like the first the first quarter, it, you're probably you know thirty minutes or so, uh, just because it's as soon as you start hitting the silicon down here, it uh or the aluminum, the aluminum actually I was surprised I survived that long. Usually usually I die a lot faster. Usually the first time I even think about touching the aluminum, the uh my ship just explodes. Uh, it's a fun. Come on, a little a little wiggle there, and eventually we'll start getting uh stuff that basically will help regenerate. We'll we'll get fuel built back up. We'll uh that there's a lot of stuff uh that, that make you really really strong. And as with any incremental game, the kind of the further you get into the game, the the better off you are, and the the better resources you get, and the better. Better stuff works, so back to the shop. So we got another one of those, so we'll go ahead and buy that. Get it to more armor. Get us some more fuel. Solar system, back back to the planet. So, and it's uh, important, and especially here in the beginning, you, you have basically one planet that you can go to uh like and you can't even get to the moon uh until you get some upgrade and you need a lot of money a lot of numbers to be able to do that but we will keep keep doing it. now uh the plan with this is is kind of the reason i reset is to kind of make more of a more of a playthrough of this as opposed to just a hey here's the end of the game uh so I'll, I'm gonna take it a lot slower. The uh, we'll we'll try to make sure that stuff is is uh, annotated correctly so people know kind of kind of where we're going, and uh, we'll uh, we'll just keep kind of digging through, and uh, it's gonna take it a bit slower, make more of a playthrough out of it. Yeah, quite quite a bit of it. Yeah, but that's it's trying to get through that aluminum is is uh it's spinning. Uh, so there. We'll get some aluminum for the, the heart there. We'll get some fuel down there. Get some more of that. And unfortunately, it's just it's just rinse and repeat. It's just bang your head into the wall and slowly, slowly get to where we need to go. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Come on. Keep digging. Keep digging. So the other problem too is is uh we need to get I need to get thrusters, I need to get a couple of other things. And some of those are extremely expensive. Uh, thrusters would be helpful because it allows us to start climbing or to be able to fly back up. Uh, and we'll need that ultimately to be able to to regenerate some fuel and some health so that we can get to the core and, and kill it. Uh, because trying to just ram your face into the core as hard as you can is difficult. So uh, over here, uh, so this is gravity lock. Gravity lock is really helpful. Uh, I highly recommend it, getting that as soon as you can, um, just because the gravity lock allows me to do crazy stuff like this. So I turn on gravity lock, I turn blue, and basically it, it slows the game from backing me or bouncing me up out of out of the uh, the gravity. Uh, so it, it basically allows me to ram my face into the wall faster. Um, and uh, it still, obviously, we're still kind of bouncing out a little bit. 
you know, the harder the, the item is, the the you know, the more it bounces you. So the gravity lock doesn't stop you from bouncing. It just uh it slows it down. And at least in the beginning, trying to get through the first first layers, it, it's a lot faster. Uh so it does it does save you quite a bit of time, which is which is very helpful. And then we'll slowly, slowly, eventually we'll get to this. Just kind of, kind of keep ramming our face into the wall for a little while. And then if you're like, oh, I'm fixing to explode anyway, you can just hit restart, or hit R, and uh, it kind of drops you back to the beginning. I'll drop you back up to the roof. So if you're like, oh, I only need, hey, come on, get back on the, back on the board. There you go. Come on. Just keep keep banging your head against the wall. You'll eventually get it. I have faith in your little drill ship. Alright. It's good. Or we start. And we go. We will eventually get there. Oh, we scroll out a little bit too. I forget. There is a scroll button, so if you're if you're not happy with how how zoomed in you are, you can kind of zoom out to get a better better look at what you're trying to do, and uh, be able to plan out better better approaches. We will eventually get to where we're trying to go. I will I will eventually make it to the bottom. All right, so I'll go ahead one more time. Come on. Yeah. So, and like I said, it, it's this is going to get very repetitive, and uh, it, it's <laughs> of course not a lot I can do about it. Uh, Yeah, the amount of particles and stuff that's in this game, and the and the the things that change, and it just uh, it's wreaking havoc on a lot of stuff. All right, so get a little bit more health. We'll get some more armor. We'll get some more fuel. I want to get some more cycling though. Uh, more siphon allows us to basically get more money per per item, and then so the next one we need we need iron, silicon, uh, and money, uh, and we can get thrusters. So we will we will do that. We will work on thrusters very soon uh, because thrusters are very helpful. Uh, it makes makes our life a whole lot easier. Come on. And then if you ever get kind of stuck there, just wiggle your mouth back and forth real quick. Uh, if you wiggle your mouse back and forth real quick, it uh, has a tendency to kind of uh, clear out what you're trying to do. Get some, uh... come on, we need, we need some stuff. So we'll just keep going until we get 20,000 monies. And then we'll go back in and see where See where our other stuff lies at. Come on. Come on, keep going. There you go. That's almost 20,000 monies. I try not to sell my, my resources off uh, after that initial. Once once I'm able to get the site, and I try not to sell my resources off because, well, you need them. And you need lots and lots of them. Now, granted, by the time you know you need ridiculous amounts of them, you're you're picking up more resources, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but at the same time, I'm trying not to just burn through. So we'll go ahead. We're gonna buy our thrusters. Those are helpful. Let's see. We're gonna get some more siphon. Get some more health there. Get more loom, foils, more silicon plating. What is this one? Shockwave. I'm not super worried about shockwave right now. Gunpowder, we we will need, but we we're not there yet. Um, all right, so 
I remember where the refueling is. It may be down here. So we'll go back to here. Now, now I can actually hold up or hit W and it will fly upwards. That also helps me fly sideways. So if I want to just get a bunch of iron, I can just kind of dig my way through that. If I want to try to dig to someplace that's easier to get to, uh, I, I, I now have thrusters. So I can actually, if I really wanted to, I can just fly back out of here and then fly all the way back out to the beginning. Uh, so it allows you to kind of uh, do a lot more stuff. So if you're looking for something specific like, oh, I, I really just need a crap load of, of iron uh, for an upgrade. Um, I'm able to kind of get that. Now, uh, you'll see our fuel is still going down with horrendous numbers. Uh, so I'm trying to remember. This is aluminum. I just need lots of aluminum for that. Uh, free fuel takes it so you can't take da uh, take damage for a time. So we can only take damage. All right, okay, so we can freeze our fuel. Um, what do we need for that? Uh, we need ice, which that can be a minute. That is going to be a minute. Get some more fuel. And then this here, we need to get iron, silicon, and a bunch of monies. Iron, silicon, and a bunch of monies. Come on. So, unfortunately, like I said in the beginning of the game, it's just a bunch of ramming my face into the wall. And kind of seeing how far down I can get. <laughs> kind of, kind of keep digging down here. Now, now we've gotten down to the core, and we die immediately. So. Now, we're actually able to get down to the core and actually get down into it, which is, in and of itself, is helpful. Uh, however, exploding as soon as we touch the core, not, not super helpful. There's a few things that I'd like to do before I explode, like actually get the core taken out. So, but part of that is, is... Uh, I need to get the regen. Uh, so there's a thing that allows us to get fuel back up. As soon as I can get that fuel back up, I might be able to take a core out. But it is lots more upgrades. Lots more upgrades. And honestly, it's not really worth Continuing to ram our face into that. So this is uh, more ore siphon. A bit more money there. That guy's maxed out now. Uh, more more siphon, more siphon. Need all the monies. We'll get some more health. We'll get some armor. Uh, we'll get more drill upgrades. More, more, more. Every time, everything that we pick up makes us a little bit stronger, a little bit uh, better at trying to do things. And the, just that little bit of more strength to us uh, really does help. Does help. We're, we're taking a lot of fuel damage. So we're still taking. Yep. Still there. Uh, still getting expander. Uh, uh, increases the old siphon equipment. We just need 100 billion for that. Yeah, that, that should be fine. I should be able to get that no problem anytime. We get, we'll keep getting that money built up. Keep the armor built up. And it's just more of the same. It is uh, literally just <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, it's such a 
such a such, it, it's such a simple game, but honestly, it's such a fun game. Uh, it's just it's very satisfying. Just kind of, especially if you like mining space rocks, uh, it is it's a uh, it's a great game to kind of kind of waste a couple of minutes on here and there, uh, and just slowly slowly dig through some some things. And then as soon as you start getting the uh, the events technologies open, uh, you start you start really getting some uh, some uh, progress made. And once you start making that progress, it it really feels like you're making uh, making strides. Do that kind of dig through here real quick, kind of wiggle straight down, get some more aluminum. And I could, if I really wanted to, what the easier way to do it too is to kind of do this, where I go through and, and just pick up a bunch of aluminum, uh, and just kind of dig through as much as we can. Uh, it's at this point we're just trying to get as many resources as we can so that we can uh, we can upgrade as much as we can and get as much stuff going as as, as possible. Much as we can. Come on. Keep digging, digging, digging hole. Come on. Now you'll see that we are we're actually able to take up quite a bit of this stuff. We need more drill damage, I think. We are. It almost seems like starting to, it's crying. The deeper down you get, the harder stuff gets, and the uh, the more fuel it takes to get through it. I go back up here. All right, so I'm going to kind of cheat this a little bit and go up here, kind of refill our old inventory a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm going to basically drive around the planet and just pick up some stuff and see if I can kind of refill my fuel. I don't think I have enough to be able to... Uh, to make a, a good a good run at this thing. So we'll do that. So now we got our kind of got our our fuel filled back up. Take it easy. We'll go smack it one more time. Come back up here. We'll grab us some more yellows, and we're gonna kind of cheese. The old first, the old first run here, and see if we can actually get this core destroyed. Um, you kind of have to cheese it a little bit, and kind of go refill your fuel tanks back up, uh, and kind of, kind of cheese it. The other option is just to keep banging your head against the wall until eventually uh, you just come in and just wreck the core the first the first try. Up oh, <laughs> and there I go. I I bunked it twice and that was enough to destroy me. So we'll go ahead. We'll get some more more of that. Go ahead. We're at five hundred sixteen thousand. So we're gonna go ahead. We're going to get as much siphon as we can. Get some of that stuff. We'll get some more drill damage. we we'll get some more fuel. And back in again. So, I keep I keep saying it, but it is just, seriously, it's it's trying to, to get down as far as you can. Take out as much as, you, you know, uh, you know, just to kind of to play it smart and do do what you can. Build the resources you can and, and kind of do do that. So we're going to try one more time here. Back up. 
should have a little bit more resource, a little bit more damage. Now, the other problem you can run into is if your damage starts outpacing your uh, your ability to take or to uh, soak the damage, <laughs> you can actually just bounce into the planet once and just be like, nope, done. So we'll just bounce it once. Come up here, get us some more fuel. Just kind of, kind of get us some more fuel, kind of going. Get the old fuel tanks recharged back up. Then back into the center one more time. Take it slow. Not, not do crazy stuff. And. The, I want to say, too, it seems like, especially as you get further and further into it, uh, that core does more and more damage. It uh, it does. It, it will do some damage to you. So if you're trying to cheese it, you want to make sure it's kind of, you have the best chance to cheese it. Uh, looks like looks like we're getting close. And you kind of have to figure out like where where your best bang for the buck is too, uh, but you can't really do this until you get the thrusters, the the knockback thing. Once you get kind of get all those things kind of picked up, then uh, then you can kind of cheese it a little bit. And the core is still there, so it's just a little spot evidently. But you notice like every time I hit that thing, it's it's more and more damage. Yeah, it's just a little spot right there in the middle. A little, 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 little bit. Kind of see it every once in a while. So we'll fly in here in a second. And hopefully, hopefully this will allow us to do it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Nope, dead. Oh, no, I did prestige it. I died, but I killed it. So we'll go ahead and prestige and restart. So now uh, you notice now as soon as I prestige, I'm taking massive amounts of damage. Uh, that, that first couple of hits caused a good amount of damage to me. I'm almost, almost breaking even with the amount of damage that I'm taking. Uh, so I'm starting to slowly... I'm building fuel back up, so but as soon as I hit uh, sulfur, uh, but I'm also getting a massive amount more of the uh, the items at this point. Now we do have this one open, so we're going to go ahead and open the vision upgrade. We'll go to the next uh, the next area. Uh, we'll get some more fuel. Uh, let's see, or purify. I want to get get some more siphon. I'm always trying to keep that siphon going out. Now, we do need gunpowder for this. The so gunpowder, we need sulfur. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the solar system. And we'll go, but we also need a million people. So uh, what I'm going to do between this episode and next is go ahead and uh, I'm going to bounce my head against this one quite a while. Uh, and, and just get a bunch of more resources uh, and get some money and get some get some stuff uh, and just hopefully allow us to be able to get to that next the moon uh, and then the next one we'll we'll try to open the laser and uh, we'll try to get all that stuff going. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you do uh, want to see more of this uh, gameplay and see me to do more of a of a pace uh, playthrough as opposed to the uh, the crazy thing I did last time. I uh, go ahead, throw a like on the video, let me know. Leave me a comment, a question or a concern down below in the comment sections. And then also uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see more of this game or any of the other ones that we're playing on the channel right now. And then uh, YouTube gonna be nice enough to throw up a video it thinks that you might like up on the, the screen there too. Uh, you guys be safe and we'll talk to you next time.